Hello to our listeners, followers, and viewers right here on National Scouting Service podcast, high school and college sports news show. And with that being said, I am your host, Coach O, one of the podcasters of National Scouting um, Service. I'm very glad to be here today. We got some interesting news as well as some things that's going on in high school as well as in college sports. And you can follow me on Twitter at Coach O Brown, as well as on Twitter at National Scouting. And on Station Head, you will have to download the app and follow National Scouting. Um, my T-shirt that I'm wearing um, today is Auburn University, and this T-shirt is made by Cole Tees T-shirts. If you need information on getting college shirts made or any type of T-shirts, um, inbox me on any one of our social media platforms, and we can look into getting them shirts made for you as well. We are in Meek and Zeke Studios, so big shout out to Meek and Zeke studios for having us in their studio for all our podcast shows as well and this show is being sponsored by ink to the t t-shirts you can follow ink to the t t-shirts on instagram if you need any t-shirts or any other type of um things made ink to the t t-shirts is another spot that you can go to and our show is also being um, sponsored by uncontested hoops. If you're looking to get your skills in basketball training, basketball handling, shooting, or whatever the case may be, you can contact Coach Herb Washington on Instagram as well as on Twitter under Uncontested Hoops. And this show is being um, brought to you live by um, Station Head App Radio, which I already told y'all in the beginning of the show, as well as on YouTube. Big shouts out to um, Tasso Sports, all the middle school sports as well. Um, without Tasso Sports, we wouldn't be having our nice um, officials officiating the games that we go out to see. They do a good job in that. So big shout out to Tasso officials as well as to all the youth sports, all the high school sports as well. Now, with that being said, we're going to get in to um, some high school sports. Before I do that, we do have some upcoming podcast events um, that's going to be right here on NSS. We have this Wednesday, October the 12th, we'll have special guest, former all pro NFL fullback, Mr. Kimball Anders right here on our podcast show. And he's a future hall of famer that will be inducted into the Kansas city chiefs hall of fame on November the 6th. You don't want to miss that. Also, he has an event, an upcoming event on October the 15th which will be held in Galveston, Texas. And it is Kimball Anna's Children's Poetry and Illustration Contest. That will be from 2 to 5 p.m. You don't want to miss that. I have contact information that you all can reach out to if you're interested in going to that um, event. It's a kids event. And again, it's going to be poetry and illustration. Also, we have coming up on October the 22nd, It'll be um, special guest, Mr. Martavian Jackson. He's a standout um, defensive back at Navarro Juco, and we'll be having him on at 12 noon right here on National Scouting Service podcast um, show, as well as on our podcast radio station, which is National Scouting. You'll have to download the Station Head app and follow National Scouting. So we have two important guests that will be on our show. One would be former NFL All-Pro, and soon to be inductee of the Kansas City Chiefs Hall of Fame, Mr. Kimball Anders. And on October the 22nd, Navarro Juco um, standout defensive back, Martavian Jackson. So you don't want to miss those. We have them um, coming on on our show. They're going to be our special guests. A lot of things you can learn from them. We're going to go into um, the beginning stages of Kimball Anders' life from his childhood in Galveston, Texas, through high school at Galveston Ball High School into college at the University of Houston, on to the NFL, and ending um, with him coaching college, high school, as well as doing his internship with some NFL teams. So you don't want to miss that. Now let's get into our high school news. If you don't know anything about this young man, he's an up-and-coming athlete. I didn't know much about him until um, 
I seen it on Max Prep, but his name is Ethan Knox, one of the most underrated running backs in the country that they had to say. Mr. Ethan Knox of Oyo City, Pennsylvania, broke another high school football national record this past Friday. In a 38-21 win over Hollidaysburg, the junior, and he's just a junior, rushed for, listen to this, people, he rushed for 403 yards, had five touchdowns, becoming the only player, the only player in history to have five, not one, not two, not three or four, but five 400-yard rushing games in a season. Knox was tied at four with a current Tennessee um, Titans running back, and I'm pretty sure everybody know him. He's an all-pro running back with Mr. Derrick Henry. Hey, to be on that stage and be be able to compare it and be placed next to to a future Hall of Famer and an All Pro running back of the NFL, Mr. Derrick Henry, I think that speaks volumes. Big shout outs to Ethan Knox. Continue doing what you're doing, young man. We will be watching you here at National Scouting Service. I will be watching you as well. And hey, the season is still going on. We're getting ready to enter to the playoffs, and I'm pretty sure you're going to be running your team into the playoffs because you're carrying them on your back now with that being said let's get into some national scouting service high school games and scores from october the 6th through october the 8th we had a lot of games going on one of the games was springfield i mean spring westfield mustangs they defeated the aldean nimitz Nemet, aldean nimitz cougars 63 to 20 and i'm supposedly I've been working on it. I spoke to him this past weekend because he's a relative of mine, but we will be having Mr. Preston Hatter on one of our shows, soon to be shows. And we're going to have him as a special guest going on to see what he have going on. This guy been passing for over 300 yards and majority of his game, if not all of his games. So we'll have him as a special guest right here on national scouting service podcast show which is live on youtube as well as on facebook and on our own personal podcast radio station being national scouting on station head you have to download the app if you are a listener and you'd like to tune in to that show on any one of our platforms also channel view falcons defeated the south houston trojans 35 to 28 Sorry to hear that for my guy, Coach Well, Keep pushing, man. Try to make it to the playoffs. But they did win that game 35-28 to 28 over my South Houston Trojans. I used to work there at that high school. The Lamarck Cougars defeated the Sweeney Bulldogs 30-20. to 20. Big shout-out to the Cougars. I know y'all working y'all way into the playoffs. Hope you all have um, an ending um, good season. The season almost coming to an end. We're on the second half with these teams trying to make it to their area playoffs. We had the Fort Bend Marshall Bulldogs. They defeated the Texas City Stingrays 40-0. to zero. Um, we had Brazos Port Exporters. Big shout out to Coach Richard Sincere. They defeated the um, Iowa Clowny. No, the Iowa Colony. I apologize. The Iowa, the Iowa Colony Panthers 27 to 19. We had the Clear Lake Falcons. Big um, shouts out to my guy, Coach Sullivan. They defeated the Clearbrook Wolverines 17 to 13 in a close game. We had my school, the Dickinson Gators, who I'm um, currently working for, defeated the Clear Fall Knights 31 to 22. Big shout out to all the Gators fans, to all the Gators players, as well as the Gators coaching staff, as well as the administrators and the teachers in the Dickinson Gators, Dickinson Independent School District. Hitchcock Bulldogs defeated the Yoakum um, Bulldogs. Big shout out to one of my relatives of the um, Hitchcock Bulldogs. They won 48 to 20. Had the Angleton Wildcats defeating the Rosenberg Terry Rangers 23-0. to zero, A big win for the Angleton on Wildcats. Big shouts out to them. My alma mater, as well as former NFL player Kimball Anders' alma mater, the Galveston Ball Golden Tornadoes defeated the Houston Austin Mustangs 76-0. to zero. We are currently undefeated in our district looking for our um, – playoff appearance and a playoff win in the first round as well. The North Shore Mustangs defeated the Summer Creek um, 34 to 27. 
Big shouts out to Rashad Johnson. He was a special guest right here on our show, a.k.a. Bo. Um, Port Arthur Memorial Titans. This was my um, high school game of the week. Um, the Port Arthur Memorial Titans defeated the Laporte Bulldogs 54-34. to It was – hey, don't look at the score. It was a very good game. Um, I was there in support of a guy that I used to coach with, defensive coordinator, Mr. Corey um, Mangum, as well as in support um, to Mr. Coach, head coach Kevin Benethi, childhood friend. He's like a brother of mine. He's turning that program around. Trust me, these guys are a lot further than where they were last year. Hope they make it into the playoffs. Um, one of their running backs, he's a second string running back, but he looked like a first string running back in Kobe Garrett. Um, he's ranked number 14th in the district right now as a running back. This guy gave an outstanding performance. He's a hard downhill runner. He impressed me at the game. Port Arthur Memorial, man, they are strong all around the field. Only thing I hate is that I didn't get the um, young man name. He had two kickoff and punt returns. I don't know how I missed it, but unfortunately, the Port Arthur Memorial Titan, Titans don't have any of their stats or their names um, of these kids on max prep. Um, just in this game alone, I know this guy going to be an all-district um, performer in um, special teams play, whether it's punt return as well as um, kickoff return and as a receiver. With that being said, let's get into our National Scouting Service upcoming games for October the 13th through October the 15th. And I have my picks in these games too. In 6A action, we have the El Paso Eastwood um, Troopers versus the El Paso Socorro Bulldogs. And I'm picking the El Paso Eastwood Troopers in this game. That game will be on a Thursday. In Friday action in 6A ball, we have the Midland Legacy Rebels versus the Odessa Permian Panthers. And I'm riding with Odessa Permian Panthers in this game. Also in 6A action, you have the South Lake Carroll Dragons versus the Keller Central Chargers. And I'm going with South Lake Carroll Dragons in that game. In 5A action division one, you have the West Calo East Wildcats versus the Donna Redskins. I'm going with the Wildcats in this game and West Lasco East um, Wildcats. Then you have the Donna North Chiefs versus the Brownsville Lopez Lobos. I'm rolling with the Brownsville Lopez logo, um, logos in that game in 5A Division One action. In 5A Division Two action, you have the Argyle Eagles versus the Frisco Emerson Mavericks, and I'm going with the Argyle Eagles in that game. You have the Ennis Lions versus Middle 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 Middleton. Heritage Jaguars, and I'm going with the Middle Lieutenant Heritage Jaguars in that game. In 4A Division um, 1 action, you have the Brownwood Lions versus the San Angelo Lakeview Chiefs, and I'm riding with the San Angelo Lakeview Chiefs in that game. And also in 4A Division 1 action, you have the Decatur Eagles versus the Wichita Falls Coyotes. I'm going with the Decatur Eagles in that game. Then you have Clinton um, Mountain View Lobos versus Clinton Lions. I'm going with the Clinton Mountain View Lobos in that game. In 3A Division I action, we have the um, the Emory Rams um, Wildcats. No, the, the em Emory Ruins Wildcats versus the Mountain Vernon Tigers. I'm going with the Mountain Vernon Tigers in that game. In 3A Division II, we have the Ballin Bollinger Bear. Bearcats versus the Wall Hawks. I'm going with Ballagin, the Ballagin Wall Barricades in that game. Then we have in 2A Division One, we have the Anderson Tigers versus Olacy Cubs. I'm going with the Olacy Cubs in that game. In Division Two um, action, in 2A Division Two action, we have the Roscoe Plowboy um, Plowboys versus Abilene TLCA Eagles. I'm going with the Roscoe. Plowboys in that game and in one a six man division one football. Hey, I love when these guys play because a lot of them basically go both ways. And that just speaks volume for these guys that's playing in this game, kind of like seven on seven and they get after of it. But in the one six in the one a six man division one division, I'm going with the 
where you got the Highland um, Hornets versus the Ena Bulldogs, and I'm going with the Highland Hornets in that game. In 1A six-man division two action, you have the Sands Mustang versus the Grandy Wildcats, and I'm going with Sand Mustangs in that game. And then in private school um, action, we have the Galveston O'Connell Buccaneers versus the Baytown Christian, and I'm riding with the Galveston O'Connell Buccaneers in that game. So those are some games that um, I picked, some scheduled games that will be going on this Thursday as well as Friday, October the 13th through the 15th. So if you see any of these games that's going on in your area, hey, go check them out, support these kids, as well as support the officials who's doing a great job and doing the best they can um, with these games. Now, I have – for my game of the week, and that would be, hold on, let me get it up. It's going to be the Clear Brook Wolverines versus the Clear Creek Wildcats. That's going to be my game of, of the week. I'm going to be in attendance um, at that game. Um, one of the running backs for Clear Creek, um, Rocky Ketchum. I want you all to remember this name. It's a very interesting name. I love the name. Um I don't know if that's his father's name or if it's a family name, but Rocky Ketchum. And I mean, this guy, he can play. And when he comes to the field, they have a hard time trying to catch him. But my game of the week is the Clearbrook Wolverines versus the Clear Creek um, Wildcats. And I'm taking the Clear Creek Wildcats in this game. This game is for the battle of last place. Um, Clear Creek, I mean, Clear Brook is 0-3, and, and Clear Creek is 0-2. So somebody got to make a statement from getting out of that last place spot. Um, you know, somebody got to finish first. Somebody have to finish last. Going into the second half of the season, hope these guys can change it around and try to make their way into the playoffs. But that's my NSS high school game of the week with Clear Brook Wolverines facing um, the Clear Creek, Creek Wildcats. Both are over. I'm riding with Rocky Ketchum. He was supposed to be a special guest on our show. Hopefully we can have him in the near future um, as well. Now let's get into some college football news and picks. And, hey, you have a lot of college games that's making an impact, making a climb in the polls, or better than they record to try to find themselves in a bowl game. With that being said, in college news, Georgia, Bulldogs, and I know my business partner, Mr. Morris Merck Cannon, out of Atlanta, Georgia, is very happy to hear this, that his Georgia Bulldogs returns to the top number one team in the AP poll ahead of Ohio State as well as Alabama. Big shout out to the Bulldogs. They are now our nationally ranked number one team in the nation, and big shouts out to them. And my college picks, I have a couple of schools that I had um, listed, and I'm going with Mississippi Valley versus Alabama State, and I'm picking Mississippi Valley um, in that game. We also have Campbell um, University versus Jackson State, and I'm riding with Jackson State in that game. We have Linda Wood University versus Eastern Illinois. I'm riding with Linda Wood University um, in that game. We have number 25, James Madison versus Georgia Southern. I'm picking James Madison in that game. We have the Rock Sock Jayhawks, Kansas University versus Oklahoma. Kansas is on the road. They are ranked number 19, and I'm thinking they're going to continue to climb in the poll. So I am picking the Rock Chalk Jayhawks in Kansas University over Oklahoma University. We have Auburn University, which I'm wearing the War Eagle shirt on this show today, versus number nine, Mississippi. And guess what? I'm picking the War Eagles in Auburn University to defeat the um, Mississippi in that game. We have number three, Alabama, versus number six, Tennessee. And believe it or not, I am taking number six, Tennessee, to defeat, to defeat Alabama roll tide in that game. Also, in NSS College Bowl predictions, like I said, we're coming to the second half of the season, and it's a lot of teams that's already um, making their way to make it into a bowl game. But in some of my predictions, I'm um, picking in the Fenway Bowl 
I'm picking Syracuse to make it into that bowl versus Memphis in the Bahamas Bowl. I'm picking UTEP to um, play against Kent State in that game in the New Orleans Bowl. I'm picking UAB versus Louisiana in that bowl in that bowl game. Um, in the Merrill in the Myrtle Beach Bowl, I'm picking Western Kentucky versus Georgia Southern. Big shout out to Georgia Southern to make it to that bowl. Hoping you guys make it. I'm pulling for y'all. In the Frisco Bowl, I'm picking Wyoming versus SMU right out of Dallas, Texas. And um, in the Lending Tree Bowl, I'm picking Middle Tennessee to versus Appalachian State in that game. In the Military Bowl, I'm picking the University of Houston versus Marshall in that game. Big shouts out to the University of Houston Cougs. I will have one of y'all former athletes right here on this show in Kimball Anders, former U of H Coug, as well as former Kansas City Chiefs All-Pro and soon to be inductee in the Chiefs Hall of Fame. In the Hawaii Bowl, I'm, pick, I'm having UTSA picking them to verse San Diego State in that game. In the Camila Bowl, I'm picking Liberty to be um, facing off against Arkansas State in that game. In the Cure Bowl, I'm picking Troy to face against um, UNLV in that game. And in the Boca Ratton Bowl, I'm picking Rice University to be um, facing off against Miami University. So those are the um, picks that I have in, in, in them upcoming bowl prediction games. And like I said before, don't forget Kimball Anders, former All-Pro fullback and in in future inductee of the Kansas City Chiefs Hall of Fame, will be on our show. He's having an event in Galveston, Texas, which is called Kimball Anders Presents the Children Poetry and Illustration Contest. You don't want to miss that. The location of that event We'll be at Rat County Recreation Center at 718 41st Street in Galveston, Texas. If you need information on the event, you can call 489-354-2788. Again, that's 489-354-2788 for information on that event. I'm pretty sure the area code is 489, but if it's not 489, try 409 Again, 409 or 489 don't work at 354-2788. Um, this is our National Scouting Service podcast show. I am Coach O. You can follow us on Facebook under National Scouting Service as well as on Instagram under National Scouting Service. On Snapchat as well. On Snapchat, <laughs> Snapchat as well. On Station Head, you will have to download the Station Head app and follow National Scouting. We're also on TikTok and on YouTube where this um, show is being broadcasted on YouTube. If you know anyone that would like to be a future guest on our show or like to come on the show, whether they're a coach, player, or parent, you can email us at nationalscoutingservice at yahoo.com or nationalscoutingservice at gmail.com. We would love to have you on as a guest. Big shout out to all the um, volleyball players and programs and coaches out there that's playing. I know we haven't had any guests on our show, but if you would like to be a guest on our show to market, advertise yourself as well as your volleyball program or your coaches, you're more welcome to come on the show. Just contact us on any of our social media platforms or email us, and we'll be um, happy to get in touch with you and scheduling a show. With that being said, we hope you enjoyed the show. Hope you enjoyed the picks, the shots outs, the news that we are bringing to you, and. Hope you tune in to our next podcast show with our special guest that we have scheduled to be on our show. You can go on Facebook, look on our events page to see what upcoming shows and events that we have going on or that we advertising for different people and be able to tune in as well as to be able to participate. I am Coach O. This is my National Scouting Service podcast show on National Scouting Service, and we hope you tune in to our next show to be broadcasted right here.